So I wanted to go over how I got my engine to, or I'm sorry, my transmission to shift at a higher RPM compared to what it was at uh, 6,350, 6,400 RPM thereabouts with my stock Whipple tune and how I got it to shift a thousand RPM higher, which is much closer to your, your peak horsepower or my peak horsepower at um, 7,500, 7,400 RPM. So I went in here and uh, I've already loaded my stock read file and my comparison file, which is the one I altered. So if you go in here to trans and you open it up, what you'll see um, when you're looking here at these charts, you'll see um, what's different when you're comparing different uh, files with a highlighted color. So the first thing I did was I went in and looked at my trans uh, protection and where it was at. So my output shaft speed versus my shift ID. What this is telling me is the maximum output shift speed based on the shift ID, which gear it's in. So the transmission is going to protect itself by not letting the output shaft of the transmission go over 1,677 revolutions per minute in first gear, 2,638 in second, so on and so forth down the line. The only one I had to change here um, was six gear. Uh, it was a little low, so I went in and changed it up, and you can see it's about 251. Oh, there it is. I raised the 251 points uh, revolutions per minute in there, so that it would hold out a little bit longer, uh, that six gear a little bit longer before it tried to shift into seventh. The other thing you'll need when adjusting this is an output shaft speed. It makes it a lot easier to have an output shaft speed to RPM table. Uh, pretty easy to find all over the internet. If you just Google 10R80 and output shaft speed chart, it comes up. There's a bunch of them out there. The next thing I changed, I didn't change anything in shift general and left all the settings the same for shift pressures, shift timing, shift properties. Where I did get my maps from was um, I went in and looked at the drag mode for a, a 10R80 Mustang 2019, same, same year. So let's look at shift schedule. And the only thing I changed here, um, I didn't change my 4x4, my ABS or anything like that. I went in for, because I wanted the sport mode to drive more like the drag mode and the Mustangs. So I went in, I opened up my output shaft speed to, um, RPM converter table, and here's the stock one here. You can see um, 1350, that correlates to about 6,400 RPM is where it's gonna tell the transmission to shift from first to second, and that's pretty darn low. So if you look at what I changed here, um, I raised it up to 7,000 RPM, uh, 1,493 revolutions in the output shaft speed. It brings it to 7,022, somewhere in there, close to that and I shifted it all the way across the board for the first time. The reason you see numbers so high in 1.3 and 2.4 and 3.5, all the skip, ship, skip, skip shift charts, is because it's locking out. The forward logic here is to make the output shaft so, so high that the transmission won't try to shift into it. So by raising these numbers up here in the 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, so on down the line to where I want it. I didn't touch the stock tables except for from 80% 80, 80 on my pedal position to 102. And you can see that here when I compare the two files directly. This is telling me that um, it's 60 RPMs above on my new tune compared to my original. So 1350, 1320 to 1380, 1493 to 1350. That's how it'll look there. So that's why I went in and changed after I did the work up on my chart. The other thing I had to change was over here in mode first gear. Now stock, you can see that in first gear, it's not gonna let it rev past 6350 in any of these modes. So what I did was I went in and I simply changed sport track from 6350, 6400 to 7400 across the board. I didn't change any downshift settings or anything like that. Well, the only other thing I did change was for my shift properties, and I'm sorry, shift characteristics under the general tab. So if you go in and look at shift character, 
what this is doing here on this is it's looking at your active shift maps. Now Ford has an adaptive transmission tuning strategy where it looks the way you drive and adapts accordingly. Um, what these numbers here, 0, 1, and 2, are available for is to let the transmission know which map to use when you're in a certain mode. Now, if you've ever driven your F-150 in 4x4 low, you know those shifts are quick and very aggressive and very firm. So you can see here it correlates to 4x4 low. It's got a very aggressive shift map. Now, if you went in and you looked at a Mustang and you look at their drag mode, you'll see it also is 2, 2, 2. Um, for their drag mode, and Sport is 0, 1, 1. So what this is, Ford has done is telling us this F-150 here to shift pretty easily, not get too hard on it. So what I went in is I went in and I changed the um, active shift map to 2, 2, 2. And that was the only things I changed throughout my tune to get it to shift at 7,400 RPM. Now I understand that some people have to go in, if you're stock, you'll have to go in and change your transfer case protection, transfer case high, high and low, um, probably your drive shaft speed, um, your OSS max versus gear, mine's maxed out at 8,000. And you may have to change a few other things, but that's all I had to do to change my Whipple tune to get it to shift at. 7400 so i hope that helps you out also um if you do this to your truck i'm not responsible for anything you do i took a chance i i blow up a trans i blow up a trans so be it i i paid the money i'm gonna play with this thing oh well but no it seemed to work out fine for me um by all means this is just to give my information out there how i did it if i did it wrong please school me i am i have never tuned a ford transmission before i've never tuned anything like this before. I've never used HP tuners before. I just got it a few weeks ago and I figured I'd play with it while I was sitting here doing nothing. Um, so take it for what it is. Don't try it unless you, uh, I don't recommend it unless you know what you're doing, but oh well.